In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the social icons. How do you change or update the social icons? Now, you have an option here where it says enable social icons. If you don't want these, all you have to do is just click this and you're going to automatically just disable it. So let's see what that looks like. So once you've done so, just click on save. And the social icons, you know, they're no longer available at the very top. So let's enable them again. Now with these here, this position here is position top one. Every section of this template here is a position, uh, a module position, which we'll take a look at later on. But once again, I didn't go into a lot of in-depth because we're going to cover the positions uh, in, throughout this video. So the top one, when you scroll down here, you have top two, top three, but this is top one. And feature position, you can leave it as default. Now, the reason why you send this icons is because you have this hashtag on here. So let's click on save so we can see them again. So you have all these here. Now, if there's a particular one that you don't want to disable it, um, we can just, just going to delete uh, Flickr just as an example. So you go based on the ones that you want. So if you don't want to have anything there, you disable that Twitter. You can leave those. You can delete Instagram. Uh, WhatsApp, you can delete that. VK, take that off and click on save. So what happened now is that it's eliminated, took all those other ones off that you disable. So if you wanted to put your site name, all you would have to do, for example, where you see Facebook, you just put in TTPS, Facebook.com and put your um, name or whatever that that page name is so that's all you have to do with these are the url for it so once you put that there and someone clicks on it that's going to link to your page now for the bottom here if you wanted to add something a custom one that's not available on here um you all you have to do is just put an fa and then you put in the social network name and then you put in you know your the url to that page whatever that is and that is going to work so for example if they don't have instagram here i'll put in fa dash instagram or fa dash youtube or whatever social network that is and then put in my link to that page so whatever your social page is you put your link to it and it's going to connect you when someone actually clicks on it or you can just put in a link directly to your website so for the Facebook, if you don't want to link it to Facebook, you can put the link to your website just by putting the URL, you know, your company dot com or dot net or whatever that is. So that is how you change, enable or disable the social icons.